Hello, dear friends. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. Uh -huh. My name is Jory, and this is my lovely wife, Vinime Orbi. Make sure you guys have subscribed to our channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on your notification bell so, so you know when a new video comes out. Thank you. Okay, today, today we have another subscriber request. Yes, we just popping them out. Yes. <laughs> Carrying it on into the new year because you guys have given us so many great so ideas. So many great ideas. So thank you for that. Yes. This one is all about where to meet white guys. We get the, this question quite often, actually. <laughs> yes. Our DMs. Yes. Many of Instagram. the lovely black ladies in our subscribership mm -hmm. and those who are commenting. Yeah. Uh, more than I would have thought, ask this. Yeah. Where can I find a great white guy? Our email. We're going to answer your question. Uh, you should find not necessarily just a white guy, but the, the right, right guy, guy. That's for right. you. Okay, no, I just want to say these are just our opinions. Yeah. Um, these are our perspectives, things we've noticed. Mm -hmm. um, we don't by any means claim to know everything about mm -hmm. this topic. Mm -hmm. um, we're just going to have fun with it, okay. and so, just so you know, yeah. um, and it was we're going to name some places you can be yeah. to meet white guys. Yeah. There, there could also be black guys there. Yeah, we're um, not saying there that they are. All, we could be, there could be all kinds of guys, but yeah. from what we've seen. Yeah, and like, this was a request from yes. one of our subscribers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we're going to give you a few places yes. that if you are looking for a white guy, mm -hmm. and you want to take that step, Maybe try some of these spots. Yes. So, honey, you said something about going places you might not normally hang out. Right. So, my thing was, when he asked me, well, where would you go? I'm like, well, as a black woman, I would just have to go anywhere that I normally wouldn't. Yes. So, like, yes. If I'm looking for, an, a, like, a different race, I wouldn't hang out with just my race. I need to broaden right. my exposure. To who I'm around. Yes. And the only way to do that is to get out of your comfort zone. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So, you might try a golf course. Golf course. Yes. Yes. Uh, and one interesting thing about golf courses mm -hmm. is that sometimes there's affluent people on the golf course, yes. too. Uh -huh. So, um, I've been golfing a few times, mm -hmm. and I've been asked to go golfing way more times. Mm -hmm. I often turn it down because I spend most of my time trying to find the ball I hit into the woods or into the pond or into the sand. So <laughs> I don't enjoy that, looking for the golf ball. Yeah. So I usually don't go. But it is a place that you do see a lot of white guys. A lot of white guys. Not to say that they Sometimes they're pretty old, though. But if you're okay with that. No, there are some. <laughs> There's like, a lot of young ones Young now. ones. No. Yeah, I guess. Especially the businessmen trying to make the deal yeah. with the older Yeah. Men. I would say in yeah. the last, like, I don't know, 20, 30 years, golf has really become a young man's game. A young game. man's game. Yeah. yeah, and so we're not saying that black men or any other type of man can be here, but from where we live and what we've seen yeah. is that oh. there's usually white men there yes. more than yes. like any other group. Which is why a drop of sweet chocolate on the course might draw some attention. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> yes. I'm like, For oh, sure. like, she's oh, golfing. Hey, did you, did and, you see? <laughs> <laughs> and hold on. Like, don't make it just like a one-time thing. You have to like... Sure, get to know them a little. Yeah, be a regular. Like, be a regular. Go cause... ahead and get yourself a membership. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you call it. About to a a country, club, country club membership. Yes. And actually, to, like, make it a, a, a like a hobby. Something you want to learn. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay, another place you can go to is a shooting range. Yes, a shooting range. Jory, Jory likes this. <laughs> yes, I've been to a shooting range a few times. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely somewhere you see a lot of white guys. Yeah. Yeah, there are definitely black guys that like to shoot, but you see a lot of white guys. And it also depends on your location. Like, okay, this in the is south, true. This is true. There might be a little bit more black men. Depending, yeah. Than they are yeah. up north. Depending where you are, close to which city or right. whatever. Right, so yeah. we are up north, so we're talking about up north. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in our area, yeah. you would yeah. pretty much only see white guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, baseball games. I grew up playing baseball. Mm -hmm. I love baseball. I think it's extremely interesting. It holds my attention very well. Mm -hmm. This is not the way how, this is not the way all people think. Mm -hmm. uh, many people think baseball is boring. 
spot in one of them. Yeah. Because Jory took me to a baseball game. I said, I guess this is what we're doing. <laughs> so. But yeah, there was, yeah. There, it was predominantly white people everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So like, that's just a nice place to go and hang out yeah, as well. Is. Like you, That's a nice leisure activity. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to watch the game. It's something that's happening right. while, while you might be enjoying a conversation, right. having a bite to eat or whatever. And it helped break up the tension and yeah. you actually would have something to talk about already, which yeah. is the game. And, so yeah. go chill, take a look around, see who's there. Yeah, <laughs> like you might be surprised. I actually um, enjoyed it. I didn't think I would enjoy it, mm -hmm. but um, I told Jory, I want to go back again. So. Yeah. Right. Honey? All white churches. Yes, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, there's a predominantly white church almost everywhere. Yes. But like, just the point of this video is to pretty much tell you guys, for you to find a white man yes. as a black woman, yes. you need to make yourself available. And that is mm -hmm. by being around places you normally wouldn't go, Right. you would um, find, you know, White men. Yes. And of course, smiling. Smiles. <laughs> <laughs> Putting yourself in a place where they are. Yeah. yeah. Is going to probably be outside your comfort zone a little. Right. Because yeah. you can't meet them if you're staying in your lane and they're staying in their lane. They're, I mean, right. you have to merge somehow. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And like we said in a video in the past, mm -hmm. just the fact that you're kind of getting into what, into their area, into their zone, right. so to speak, might like pique some interest in them right. for an for a, an opportunity they might not have considered. Right. Yeah. Or not even like, yeah. If, if you weren't exactly on their right. radar at all, now because you're right in front of them, it's they like, might, oh, wow, she's really pretty. Yeah. yeah. Why, why didn't, wasn't I looking? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. So, and then Sadly, it also, yeah. some of us are ignorant. Yeah. And, <laughs> and also provides them and provides them with an opportunity to start a conversation. Right. Because if you're far apart, I mean, what are you going to talk about? Hi, right. how are you? It's, you know, come and go. But if you're there and you're taking interest in the activity they're doing, they're uh -huh. more likely to speak with you. Yes. But yeah. Yeah. Now this next one is pretty obvious. A tanning salon. So you probably don't need a tan. Wait, if you're a a black court, girl. hold on now. Oh, oh. I was visiting Jory um, at his town where he lives and he wanted to go get a tan. I'm like, okay, well, I'll just sit around. Well, the girls up front told me I have to get a tan too. I'm like, <laughs> you see all this building? I was like, what, what does do she need a tan for? I'm like, oh, it's good for your skin. And da -da -da -da. Like, I don't need no dog on that. <laughs> there are people, there are black people with tan, but I rather do like the natural sun. But yeah, and my skin complexion changes. Like in the summer, even my children, we all get a little darker. And in the yeah. winter, we get a little I'm like, darker. hey, how you doing? You tried me. <laughs> Who's but, a new girl? <laughs> I thought the hair would have done it for you. But yeah, like, so apparently... That's what they said, but no, there you're not gonna find a black person at a tanning salon. So, <laughs> no. so that's why, like, you should go not to tan, but like you work, know, there. To work there, work yeah, there, or something like there. that. If you're a young, I um, know some people lady. that that met that way. Mm. All right, go to a rodeo. So you will find some country white boys at a rodeo. Yes, if you if cowboy you, hats. If you are into boots. that, yeah. Yes. That's a place to go. Yes. Super country. If you are a country yourself as a black woman, yes. you want to meet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Horses. Bulls. Yeah. yeah. Pick them up trucks. <laughs> Arabella <laughs> is into horses, so. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Yeah. She was, she was learning uh, English riding English for riding. quite a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kentucky Derby. Yeah. That's another place you can go. Get yes. an opportunity to look real cute. Oh, that's true. Put on my head, And girl. some wealthy folks out there, I uh -huh. guess. Right? Yep. Yeah. Some. There you go. Yep. Or maybe not. Maybe they're just stunting. Who knows? <laughs> Laying down a $1 bet. <laughs> <laughs> but that is a good place to yes. go. You know, it gives you a chance to dress up. Yeah. And, um. Sip some drinks. Yeah. If you want to meet any type of person in this world, uh -huh. you have to allow yourself to experience their yes, habitats. I think that's yeah. just the underlying thing here. Is you yeah. Gotta get out of your you comfort zone. You gotta get zone, out of your comfort zone and we're get telling into you how theirs. you can do that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. The country music concert. Once again, country folk loving mm -hmm. their country music. Yes. Predominantly white folks. White. I take experience. my horse to the whole time road and go well, okay. ride till I can't no more. In fairness. That's the one country song that's sang by a black guy. <laughs> that's the only one. There's a black, oh, 
like country artist. I can't. I can't remember his name. Oh, okay. But he's oh. like. Oh, the guy from Hootie and the Blowfish. I don't know. He was already singing with like four white guys. But he's still black. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Darius <laughs> Rucker. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Darius Rucker. Right till I came no more. Got the in the back. <laughs> All right, I don't want to step on too many toes, but probably most of these toes aren't sitting in front of our video. <laughs> All right, NASCAR race. Yes. Um, I cautioned Ben. Did I just spit? You might see that at a NASCAR race. I cautioned Biname about this a little bit. Uh huh. Um. You will find all kinds of white folks at a NASCAR race. Yeah. Many of which may not be as accepting <laughs> as you might have hoped. Uh, yeah. But, but I mean, I, I have friends that go to NASCAR races, and they're mm -hmm. good people. Mm -hmm. um, but that'll be a big step. If you do yeah. that one, that'll be, that'll be a big step. I would step. say go in a group. <laughs> <laughs> go in a group there. Get, you know... You to all my ladies asking us about where to meet white guys. Yes. You have to become friends also with the white woman as well, not just the black men, because then you know you can learn from each other's experiences, and huh. they're more likely to invite you to places you wouldn't otherwise huh. be comfortable. That's an interesting idea. I yeah. hadn't thought about that. Yeah. So you need to also mm -hmm. be become, to become your uh, liaison. Your uh... No, not necessarily. It makes it more easier for you to, for a black woman to attend these things okay. if they have... If, you're, if your buddies... If like, you have an ally going. Yes, yes. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. yeah. That makes it a lot more comfortable for yeah, you. for you. And for the people already in that environment. Yeah, because like, it's oh, she's with, yeah. she's with Karen. We're good. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's try that again. Jordan! <laughs> uh... If you're going to be serious about being with a white guy, mm -hmm. and you're a black lady, um, you're going to be embracing a lot of things about his culture mm -hmm. that you weren't used to anyway. Yeah. So why not start already right. getting into some of those cultural things where you might find that guy? So that, I mean, it's not like, it's not like you just find him and then... Boom, you get yeah, married. Yeah, yeah, no. So... So that will help you in terms of like down the road, you yeah. know? So it's not really that big a deal to go right. to those places if you're going to be with this guy anyway. Right. Um, it might let you know whether you want to be with him. I was going to say that. <laughs> give you an opportunity like, wow, to this go. Is what, this is what you like? Like, uh, uh, that's not going to work. I changed my mind. Right. Turn the sender. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ready for this one? <laughs> yes. Yeah, swimming pools. Okay. Not to say that black people can go in a swimming pool and just like from Flash here down, <laughs> that's it. Nothing up top, but like. <laughs> Is there like a zone where you're like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yes, right here. That's it. That's it. You wouldn't see like a bunch of black people like swimming, like mm -hmm. just hanging out by the pool. Yes. Or like, like becoming swimmer. So yeah. So this is one of those things where we fit the stereotype. <laughs> Biname could not swim at all when I met her. Me on the other hand, I went to semi-state and yeah, swimming. Yeah. So. It just <laughs> And that's the thing though. Oh, that's another thing, my ladies. Um men in general want to be a knight in shining armor. Yes. So if you don't you know are, how to do that, well let me help you. I can help you with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah great they, opportunity. They love to feel like heroes. Yes. And, um... Oh, I just can't figure it out. Oh, can you help me? <laughs> so, <laughs> then they can help you with it. Yes. Yeah, and they... Any one of these things. Yeah, and they want to. So, like, it's like, oh, yeah, I'm teaching such and such how to do this. Yes. This She's learning. You yeah. become a student. They love it. So, yeah. Then, boom, you got them. <laughs> it's not about boom, you got them. There's an opportunity of two different cultures yeah. that necessarily would not get together. Mm -hmm. But even if it doesn't like end up in marriage, but there's a friendship there. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, your worlds have collided. Yeah. And maybe you've both become more more uh, enriched yeah. by the experience. That's right. But Our advice would be if you're thinking about getting more serious with someone, it should be headed toward marriage. Yeah. That's what we believe is the design for that relationship. That's right. <laughs> All right. The last one on the list is a hunting or fishing club. That's right. I was involved in both as a young man. 
I was part of uh, shooting sports. I guess that's not really a hunting club. Mm -hmm. uh, shooting sports, and I was also in fishing club. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so it, it worked out because initially, I remember when you, this is after we got married, mm -hmm. but you asked me to go fishing with you. Mm -hmm. I said, who, me? <laughs> <laughs> Fish what? You mean I, eat fish? Like or? you want to go camping? Why? We got beds <laughs> at home. Yeah. Why? Why would we go lay Why on the ground? Why are we doing that? <laughs> but I went to my surprise, guys. I loved it. I wanted to keep <laughs> doing it again and again and again. Uh -huh. and all, like These opportunities also give you a chance to like discover yourself. Like, oh, mm -hmm. I didn't know I would enjoy fishing. Like yeah. I told you, I want to go back. The, fish. the park security guy kicked us out of the <laughs> out of the park because she wouldn't leave the I lake just, i just want to keep <laughs> She's fishing like, I wanna keep I wanna keep <laughs> hopefully this was helpful yeah thank you so much for the idea on this video and we we, we finally answered the yes. question <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and with that dear friend keep, keep looking, looking up, up.